story has been showing us the secrets of Beverly Hills. Some people think of life there as one big game, and with uh, all the games, there are the rules. There's no place like Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills with the best, the best of everything. It reminds me of we had to destroy it in order to enjoy it. Where would you rather live, in the Bronx or Beverly Hills? I look at the town in many ways as a very high camp. Somewhere between the Bronx and High Camp is Beverly Hills, California. Camelot, it is not, but neither is it Cucamonga. The natives have their own special rules and rituals, which you might call the Beverly Hills game. And today, we'll show you how it's played. I like to have a good time. We Are work hard and we play hard. Early to bed and early to rise is a cardinal rule. Every park and pathway is off and running at daybreak. The bouncing continues all day, and you could say there's no relief in sight, but fortunately, there is. And the whole thing is feeling good. Feeling good and having healthy body and sound mind. Moving, it makes you feel good. It makes your body healthy, your heart, your lungs, your muscles, your bones, makes you strong and healthy. And that's rule two of the game. A sharp wit in a shapely frame. And I'm here because I want to lose weight, because I have a new grandson, and I stopped smoking. So I put on a lot of weight. <laughs> and I want to become a sex symbol. What a Weird. joke. Ah. What a joke. I want to have my face lifted next. This is where we come as the watering hole to, to look beautiful. It's a land of beautiful people. Everybody wants to look their best, you and me and everybody. Isn't beauty supposed to come from the inside? I mean, can you make people beautiful here? It goes together because when a woman looks her best, she feels her best, she's happier and she projects better and things go better. You can't just isolate the one from the other. What do you think of the cult of beauty, everybody wanting to be beautiful in Beverly Hills? Well, not only Beverly Hills, I think every woman in the world wants to be beautiful. I love flowers, uh, music, beautiful paintings. Why shouldn't people be beautiful? You don't see anything wrong about trying to look oh, right. Of course not. I think that's. I think it's part of what you should be. Um, age is in your head. I mean, I always ask this question: If you didn't know your age, how old would you be? And it usually stumps people because it's purely in the in the individual's mind. I mean, I'm 53. I feel like a kid. I haven't lessened up in any of my activities, and I, I hope never to. Why would I? I'm worried about staying beautiful inside, inside Beverly Hills. But beautiful people are only part of the game. Margot Merkin is a car dealer, and fancy cars are a Beverly Hills cliché. For years, the natives have assumed that you are what you drive. I have a Cobra. In my Mercedes. A little BMW like mine. I don't want a Rolls Royce. I've done that now. It's like an... What do you drive now? Now, Cadillac. Ah, but Miss Merkin has changed the rules of the game. For two or three hundred dollars, you can drive a racy roadster like Rudolph Valentino. Today, you are what you rent. These cars come standard equipment with screaming fans, adoring crowds, and autographs. We have a sheik that comes in that takes his whole entourage with him and drives out in about ten cars. He takes two Clinades, three Rolls Royces, four Mercedes 450 SLs. It's unbelievable, and they all drive out at the same time. The Sheik and his entourage should feel right at home, though. This is one of the local oil wells, and it helps to finance one of the main attractions of Beverly Hills, the schools. I like it best here because my children go to school here, and I'm very proud of the school district. Beverly Hills schools, of course, are famous, and justifiably so. They have an outstanding school system here. It's education that I think really built Beverly Hills. Our sal teacher salaries are the best in the state, uh, have been for years. Uh, the class size is very attractive. The materials and supplies and equipment, uh, we're well supported. We spend this year around $2,700 per pupil. The state average is around $1,700. But Superintendent Ken Peters also told me that enrollment is down. Parents with young children just can't afford a home in Beverly Hills anymore. This is the best place in Southern California for a public high school that you could go to. To send your child through the Beverly Hills High School is one of the main goals of the Beverly Hills game. There are 2,200 very bright, very competitive, above average students all preparing for the best college money can buy. A problem according to phys ed teacher Dixie Zovac. 
A lot of these parents have really worked and sacrificed to move here. They want to get the best education for their kids. Their kids come into school, and now they are maybe getting B's and C's. They're not going to get into Princeton or Stanford or Harvard. And they're saying, hey, look at how much we sacrificed, and look what you're doing. So the child is under a lot of pressure. And if they can't make it honestly, they, there's a lot of pressure to cheat. How about the pressure to crack? Uh, we have a full-time psychologist on our staff. I think not a whole lot of schools have that. I think uh, values get distorted when we're in, in pursuit of affluence. Mike Mayer is director of the Maple Center, the busiest mental health counselors west of the Menninger Clinic. For the whole family, you see, playing the game takes its toll. And there really is a game. You start with credit and try to accumulate status. And Marv Rubinek, the owner of the toy store, explained how to rack up some um, points in real life. That you can draw great similarities between the, the game and the actuality of the people themselves. For instance, 10 points for a breakfast meeting yeah. at Nate and Al's. Well, we don't have a whaling wall, but we have Nate and Al's. Five points for dinner at the Bistro or Jimmy's, but 10 points for dinner at El Padrino with the Dean of Beverly Hills Chefs, Henry Becker, because he only works Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you spot a celebrity on the street, you lose five points if you gush up and say, Hi, Zog, and she says, hello, dear. And you lose 15 if it's Ava. Gain 20 points if you know what's inside the Fowler Museum. And gain 25 points for going to the Ginger Man on Sunday afternoon and pretending not to notice that George Siegel is playing the banjo. Of course, you can lose 20 points if you're seen waiting for the bus. In fact, if you lose enough status points, you have to go to the valley. But not to worry. <laughs> you're in good company. I live in the valley. I live in the San Fernando Valley. I live in the San Fernando Valley, Sherman Oaks, yeah. You mean you go to the valley? I go to the valley. <laughs> yeah, there really is a Beverly Hills game, and I brought it along. It costs $25, and all the places that we've talked about is on the board here, and you can play it. You can also lose status, which I think I have in Beverly Hills, and I think I'm going to the valley. And my associate producer, Debbie Ack, who did most of what you saw, she's going to West Hollywood. She doesn't have any more status either. <laughs> Ralph. Never get beyond the door, Giorgio. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Stout is giving you a mean stare. <laughs> That's the only one he has. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ralph, for a joyful series. We really enjoyed it.